Hi guys, just a quick update. Um, I'm going to uh, run these longer screws into the motor plate because obviously it's a bit thicker. Um, I'm going to take these uh, M335 long three bolts that come into the motor plate and replace them with a uh, M340. These are slightly too long, so what I'm going to do is just show you how I uh, um, trim these down slightly to obviously fit the motor plate and obviously make sure that they don't poke out and come into contact with the uh, back of the slipper plate there. This will get give the um, bolts a bit more bite as it uh, they'll obviously go all the way through um, the motor plate make it a bit more you secure. You can see the size difference between the two bolts there. You can't actually get um, these button head in a 40mm or 38mm. Um, I did lot, do uh, lots, lots of searching on, on eBay etc and Google to find out but you can only get these um, countersunk ones like so. Um, so if you just use one of these little washers, um, countersunk washers, they look quite smart. You obviously get coloured ones on there and they'll work just fine. So we're just going to um, put this in here just double check what we need to take off because this will poke through from the motor plate slightly and then we'll cut the bolt down and refit the other. So now we've fitted that bolt you can see it's slightly protruding out from the motor plate so we just need to basically remove this flush. You could if you wanted to um, just grab a Dremel wheel and hit it there but obviously you'll mark the motor plate etc. So what we'll do is we'll take a measurement um, using some calipers and then um, cut this bolt down slightly um, so it sits flush with the motor plate and doesn't obviously uh, come into contact with the uh, back of the slipper plate. Just there. using the uh, back end of the calipers here you can put the caliper on the end there, wind the caliper out and you can see the little protrusion there. Um, put that up against the motor plate, put that up against the bolt you can see it's one and a half mil. So we've got to take one and a half mil off all the three bolts and then we'll be in business. So we'll just do that. Right now. so when you're cutting a bolt down always put a nut on first and then when you cut the bolt you can unwind the nut and it clears the thread. So what I've done here is I've set my calipers to uh, one and a half mil, as you can see there. And so just double checking it there. So I've put the nut as a guide there basically. Um, so we'll uh, we'll trim it back to the nut, uh, wind the nut off and then put it back in. I'm using a, uh, I've got a bench grinder, I'm quite a tinkerer, so I've got all this kind of kit at home, but you can just do that with a hacksaw or a Dremel cutting wheel and just file it off, but I'm just gonna pop that on the grinder. So it. that's the uh, one of the bolts done. I'm gonna do the other two long bolts, but you can see there um, the difference with that one and that one. So it's obviously filling the thread all the way, and nice and secure. So, uh, and you can see there it doesn't protrude beyond the motor plate and they've obviously come into contact with the slipper. And uh, there it is that side. So I'll just do the other three and then we'll call it right, So that's got them finished up, as you can see. And there it is. On the other side with the countersunk um, bolts, but it all looks quite nice. But uh, yeah, like I say, you can get the bolts off eBay for like two quid for half a dozen of them. Um, so just uh, chop them down like I told you to, and uh, I think you'll be just fine. Again, just a bit more security, and uh, obviously you won't risk stripping a thread out there. You know, mine did nip up, but you can see, you know, this is a sort of better solution really. But uh, you can obviously be fine out of the packet if you want to go that route. So we'll just slap the car back together. And that's that. Hope you found this useful guys and uh, look forward to hearing how you get on with this modification.